What I've learned is to expect the unexpected, and the Hotel Palomar was definitely one of the places in which, you know, when I first came in, I thought, well, I can feel a lot of this, but are they really going to show themselves to us? We were pleasantly surprised. So we're here in Old Town Temecula at the Palomar Hotel. We're getting ready to set up all our equipment right now. Lady Brenda, our psychic to the show, she's getting ready. What are your thoughts on the whole thing so far? I'm excited about it because I can really feel the energy. You know, this place has a smell. The first time I came in to this place, I walked in the door and I could smell the ghost. I know it sounds weird. There's a smell. It's like a honey sweet, right? Yeah. yeah. As soon as I walked in that door, I could, there was a mu an underlying musty smell, and I knew, okay, they're here. A Ouija session requires more than one person, so I invited a few friends along. And so we set up to do the Ouija board, and I use the Ouija board, and I know this is kind of like one of those taboo things that people don't want to talk about. Oh God, the Ouija board, you can buy it at Rite Aid, and yes, it is dangerous if it's in the wrong hands. I invite the, into the circle this night, and I invite the into the circle this night to be with us, to communicate with us. I arrived at the Palomar Hotel about 9.15 and uh, as everyone's getting in setting up, I asked Dane to go around and shut all the windows because of the outside noise in case we want to pick up some EVPs, turn off the ceiling fans and the air conditioning and uh, it started getting hot in there pretty fast. So during the Ouija board session, Brenda contacted a spirit named Charlie. She asked him how he died. He said suicide. Mm -hmm. Why? So because of money, huh? Brenda asked Charlie why he committed suicide and then finds out over money. And as she says it sarcastically, over money, you hear the candle slide and you hear it break. So because of money, huh? <gasps> the candle. Ooh. Ooh. All of a sudden I hear this glass smash behind me and uh, everyone's like, oh, the candle went out and I thought, well, maybe I backed into it or something, but I didn't move. The placket was flying all over the board. The candle that was next to the cameraman literally jumped up into the air and shattered and the flame went out. And it was pointing in the direction of room number eight. Later that night when I got home, I looked at the back of my pant leg, there was wax all at the top. If I hit the candle, it would have went this way. This candle slid up and hit me and fell to the ground and broke. Oh, no. oh shit. Hey, Charlie. Oh, I'm the so I'm filming the table tipping with Brenda, you know, just you know, hotter than hell up there, and all of a sudden I hear her going, whoa, and the table's tipping, and uh, so I'm focusing that, and I hear Dane, he's in the doorway holding the boom mic, and he's like, fuck shit, and, jump, uh, and so I run over to go check on him, see what the hell's going on, and um, he's like, dude, something just grabbed me. Table had tilted towards room number eight, all hell broke loose, that's when Dane was grabbed by the entity, the cold feeling on his back. Is that room eight? Yeah, eight. So Mike's asking me if that's room number eight. As I'm holding the mic, I turn to my left and I look up and yeah, it's room number eight. Is that room eight? 
Okay. This is the room where uh, Brenda saw the entity before. Okay, the light just turned on by itself when I put it through the doorway. <coughs> I didn't touch the camera at all. That was pretty messy. Nice. <laughs> so with all this activity going on, from the table tipping, to Dane getting grabbed, to me running over the video camera, the light turning on, I didn't even think to check the tape. total chaos. The spirit activity was going crazy. Um, Mike had gone into the room with his camera and then all of a sudden the light flicked on by itself and he captured an orb coming out of the mirror and flying across the room. On playback of the tape you see this orb leave from the mirror and go up to the center of the room. Now perspective wise and camera when it, as it's coming towards me it's got to be about six inches wide. So this wasn't any bug or dust particle or anything like that. Plus all the windows are shut. The room is completely sealed. As soon as Mike entered the room, the light went on on his camera. We saw this orb leave the mirror. I mean, all hell broke loose at that time. I'm always a little weary, kind of skeptical about Ouija boards, but Brenda nailed it. She picked up on the suicides, the hanging, the robbery murder out back behind the hotel. There's no way she could have known about that stuff. Danny and I only found out over the phone three and a half hours earlier from a source of the EMT. That's what I, that, that was, there was one on the notes. Remember on the notes at your office, it says, seven, it says 77, 78, 79. Because that's when my dad started out here. And he was telling me about all these things would happen, ODs, drug ODs. There's been, there's been several deaths in here. Yeah. Seems like a in 1978, yeah. who was the, the voice or the name that came up in 1978? We'll rewind the tape to figure it out, but. Tom, we, we just found out today. Tom? John. Charles. John. Charles. 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 We found out today from someone firsthand that was here. Be, it'll right be on that tape. Yeah, this, 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 the information we got is from people that were actually coming here to collect the bodies. A fire captain. Because back then there was no Temecula Police Department. It was all Border Patrol. Yeah. So that's why they come out here and they do it because it takes two hours just to get a cop out here. And we just found out that today, right before it went to Game yeah. Lake Two guys uh, arguing back. in the courtyard, one shot the other one. And maybe it was over money, we don't know, we'll find out more. Bonfires and we, can go out. we can go out in the courtyard too. We can go out in the courtyard, court. that's why we were asking her earlier if we can go out there. Hmm. Well, we got some good stuff tonight. I knew then we had to do a cleansing in room eight. So during the Ouija board session, Brenda contacted a spirit named Charlie. She asked him how he died. He said suicide. Charlie's a problem and I'm gonna get rid of him. in room 8 because three weeks earlier and we had gone into room 8 and as soon as we entered the doorway the, the lights went off and on and right behind our cameraman there was a spirit energy an entity a shadow the orb came through the mirror and it bounced across here it's just a lot of he wants to hang out right here in, in the, this corner Almost like my vision is that there was a chair there and he was sitting there when he had his tragedy.
Spanish thing. I banish thee. I banish thee. He doesn't want to leave. And he likes it here, doesn't he? Show yourself. Show us a sign. May the Lord bless your soul that it is time for you to go. By fire and air, purify this space. Charlie, you are in spirit substance. And forever visit this place and your demise. And we ask you to leave now. There will be no negativity in your wake. Blessed be. I'm hearing stop. It's not spelling it out, but I'm hearing it. What about you? Can you hear it? Can you feel it? I can feel it. You can feel it, huh? You want to take him in and put him in the jar? Let's do it. Eviction time. It's eviction time, right? Yes. Use. We invoke you to enter this circle, Charlie. We invoke thee. We invoke thee. so he can go back to where he belongs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it down on the grave and he'll be reunited with his spirit. So we know there's been two deaths here, at least for sure. Yeah. We picked up a voice on this. It said, go away. What? It said, go away. Uh, we came in to take some photos, and as we pulled up, my speedometer went from, you know, going 30 to 60, and it stayed at 60 from a dead stop. And Was the engine still that, running or the no? The engine's still running. This is a brand new car. And then um, once we went in, it took about 15 to 20 photos, just orbs everywhere. It was uh, it was definitely a creepy place to be. What was your name? Are you glad that we're here? Do you want to speak to us? What is it that you want to say? He said go away. He's trying to tell us to get him. See? We're going to have to analyze this. He is the bully entity, and he's the entity that wants to leave this place. That's why he's coming forward. 
So it could be that there's spirits from all this area attracted to this place. That's what's going on. Destroys the night, night divides the day. Try to run, try to hide, break on through to the other side. 